Good afternoon, passengers. Good evening, passengers. Good morning. Well, it could be any time because, you know, you are across the world. Welcome aboard. Mega Sim here for the latest roadmap that has come out today. Now, as we can see, we've got a nice Bakerloo line special on there. The 1938 stock in a nice red livery. But that's just the image for today's uh, roadmap. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have a look into it. So first things first, 25th of January, that is today, a new Swiss route, UK steam route reveal, and an update to the preservation work ongoing in the latest roadmap. So what we're going to do is we're going to be having a look at the roadmap and then having a chat about some of the things that are in there. If you do want to uh, add something to this, leave that in the comments so we can all have a look and reply to each other. And also don't forget we are on... Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and we have our Discord server as well. So in the previous roadmap, it was shared that there was a new layout and discussed what has changed. So this new roadmap, we'll start to see how this new format works when changes are made and how it comes together. So they've listed all the preservation updates in the order these projects are most likely to be released. And they'll be talking with Adam on the stream tonight, where they'll be discussing the preservation crew's work and how and why this order could very well change. So we know Spirit of Steam has been updated accordingly to reflect the announcement that was shared on Festival of Rail on Saturday. And then in other releases, we will see a new addition, the Swiss route to the roadmap. As the development progresses, they will gradually add additional information. So any announcements about this route will no longer be shared through the roadmap, but we should be keeping an eye on our news and social channels for exciting updates. Another thing with Horseshoe Curve, it has intentionally been moved down and can be found below the Swiss route. Uh, Skyhook Games, there was discussions uh, internally uh, with Dovetail and Skyhook, and they were all in agreement that the route required more time to be at a standard they would collectively like it to be. So they've made the decision to give that extra time. In the previous mode map, um, there was the question of where's the DBBR232 by TSG? This was removed intentionally whilst TSG focused on the 420 EMU instead of the 232 diesel. Once the production is completed, they'll have a better understanding of the release timeframes because the 232 and the 420 have been on the roadmap for quite a while. So yeah, on the previous one, it was removed. And finally, the Taranta Rampa and the ACS 6450th anniversary livery is now complete, so they've removed that. Natalie and Adam will be on Railfan TV tonight where they discuss this week's roadmap. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what's going on, and then we're going to have uh, maybe delve a little bit deeper into one of these, uh, these uh, um, releases that are being mentioned. So... DTG releases, we've got the New Journeys expansion pack. We had a look at that on Friday on Spirit of, Ste uh, Spirit of Steam, Festival of Rail, um, where there is going to be an expansion pack to the three uh, first releases of Train Sim World 2, the Chanel Fast Tracker Colon Route, the Sand Patch Grade, and the Bakerloo line. So we saw some bits going on with the Chanel Fast Tracker where they're going to be introducing the 43 and the 45 and other layers. Uh, you've got the sand patch where they're going to have the SD40, but the original version, which is in one of the other releases, and I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, so we've got a new one there. And Bakerloo is going to have the original colours of the 1972 stock. Uh, so we're going to have that in that weird white silverish colour with the red front. Um, funnily enough, if you look on YouTube and look at the final uh, original colors the amount of graffiti over it so hopefully we're going to see um, especially as with the new uh, pack where we're going to be able to share um, our um, liveries hopefully somebody's going to create like graffiti on the side that would be really epic um, so Jason if you're listening I think that would be a really good thing <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Harlem Line, Grand Central Terminal, White Plains with the M3A and the M7A. That's going to be good. That's coming out soon. I totally forgot about the Harlem Line. And then Spirit of Steam, Liverpool Lime Street to crew with the Jubilee Class and the 8F. Uh, so that's going to be fantastic when that comes out. Um, what do you think of those three? Uh, what's the one that you're most looking forward to? This is quite cool, the expansion pack, because it's the original three, so we're expanding that. That would be quite nice to see what goes on, um, especially when we hear the upcoming stuff that's happening with the Bakerloo line. Other releases, we've got the Swiss route by 
Rivet Games, that is going to be really interesting. The Horseshoe Curve, which we know by Skyhook Games has been delayed, but it is there. And then the 420 by TSG uh, for the Munich Augsburg route. That's coming soon there. Core cool features, we got the Creators Club, which we just mentioned with scenarios and liveries. The PlayStation 5 add-on limit fix, that is a little annoying where we are limited to the amount of uh, DLCs. Um, and then the Rush Hour Passenger System for London Commuter. Uh, so that's something, I think that's for console, isn't it? Um, where they need to update that for London Commuter. And the PlayStation 4 to 5 profile transfer. I want to know, because I don't think they mentioned this, what happens if you have started on PlayStation 5? Can you merge your PlayStation 4 data to PlayStation 5? Because effectively, we've had to start again. Anyway, miscellaneous Dovetail Live rewards, preservation crew, sand patch grade update. I'm guessing that's there because of um, the uh, New Journeys expansion pack, which is coming soon. Um, but remember on those videos where we saw the Schnell Fast Track of Colin Aachen, uh, it is quite far down here. So we may get the expansion pack before we get the Colin update with the passenger information screens. I'm happy that Great Western is third. I would prefer it to be first where we're going to get passenger information screens and a lot extra features, hopefully. Uh, will they give us an update to have maybe information screens on the 166? I hope so, because that would work really well with the London commuter layer. Anyway, Northern Trans Pennine and et cetera, et cetera, with West Somerset down at the bottom. But even though there is an update there, remember we did have a big chunk from West Somerset Railway last year. It was last year, wasn't it? Not earlier this year, last year, um, where we had all new services and things like that. So that is at the bottom working its way up. So hopefully they're just going to constantly update and put new features in there. Um, and as you know, uh, with the preservation crew at the moment, you know, I'm not saying that. Currently, it's free. You get a free update to that. So if you don't get um, the Journey Expansions Pack for the Chanel Fast Track of Carl Nurchen, you will get the passenger information screens free with this update with the Preservation Crew. Just wanted to mention that. Um, as we know, the Taranta Rampa Dresden to Chemnitz is completed and the 50th anniversary livery is completed as well. So going up to uh, the Swiss route. So... After this um, roadmap came out, Rivet Games decided to post this on their social media. Something new. And as you can see, it bends round and comes into here. Now, there has been some speculation of what that is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a Google Maps of this. Now, potentially it's this. Can you see the curve going around there? And then you've got that bit and that bit going down. Let's go back to it. See, curve round and you've got the two bits there and there and then down. I don't know how far it goes down there. It does kind of stop. But that's kind of what people are thinking is it could be the Luzerne to Zurich route. So if we come out, 51 minutes, Zurich to Luzerne. Lucerne, I'm apologies on the pronunciations on there. That's what people are thinking. What do you think? With that curve going around there, with that curve going there. Interesting, eh? Well, we've got the IR75 and the IR70 and things like that. Now, I'm not great on my um what do you call it? My Swiss roots and things like that. But the other day, um, Rivet Games did post something like this. So could we get maybe one of these or the double decker edition that looks very similar to that? That would be really good. So that's what we're thinking potentially. Could it be the Zurich to Luzerne route? Let me know your comments. Do you think that's the same? Do you think that's uh, very similar to that? Well, that would be good. We'll get hopefully hopefully rivet games won't give us an old version of it like they have with the um with the other route that we've got in switzerland um where we got the older train hopefully we'll get a nice modern train in there no i'm not i'm not advertising bolero it's just come up <laughs> anyway that's kind of it for our roadmap today don't forget um they are on tonight um to talk more about this the uh roadmap but that's kind of what i got from it so that could potentially be that 
What do you think? You thinking the same? Possibly. Anyway, that does it for us here. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that you care. As I mentioned already, social media channels and the Discord server if you do want to uh, go on there. And if you want to help support the channel, links are in the description below. We will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim. Out of here. See you later, guys. Bye.